Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing Bitdefender and we are using the free trial to test the premium version. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 213 samples in total. And so we will be using these assorted samples to test how well Bitdefender does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable Bitdefender. We'll let it sit for a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will scan the samples folder directly. And if there's any samples remaining after that scan, we will try to execute the remaining samples and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Please note that Bitdefender is up to date, and so let's go ahead and enable everything. And at this point, you can see that all of these shields are enabled. Please note on the antivirus real-time protection, we are using just the default settings. So here they are. And then with the advanced threat defense, same thing. We are just using the default settings. It's been a couple minutes and so far nothing has popped up. Let's just double check our samples folder. Looks like we still have 213 items remaining. And so if we go to protection, we'll go to antivirus, and then we're going to run the deep scan. We will let this run until it's fully completed and then we will be back here with the results. The scan has completed and it looks like it found a lot of results. And here we can see a list of everything that it found. At this point, we're going to go ahead and restart. And we are back up after restart. Let's check our samples folder. Looks like we have three remaining. And so at this point, let's go ahead and scan directly. And scanning directly came back with no results detected. So at this point, let's go ahead and execute the remaining samples. Upon execution, a couple of warnings did pop up. So it does appear that it is trying to block these last few, but it has not removed the samples. But we're going to go ahead and restart one more time and then we will run some second opinion scans. After a computer restart, Bitdefender did remove one of the three results and then the other two came back positive here in Malwarebytes, so we'll go ahead and quarantine. I also ran a scan with MZSoft which came back clean with zero results detected. So just a quick recap, we started with just over 200 samples of malware. We let Bitdefender sit for a few moments to see if it would detect anything on its own, which it did not, but we did run a full system scan, which did detect most of the samples. When we tried to execute the remaining samples, it did block some of them and did remove one on restart, but the other two were still remaining and malware bytes removed those last two samples. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There are many, many different types of tests and Bitdefender very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. If you'd like to support the channel, please hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.